Hello everyone, Grandma here. Today I have a beautiful head of fresh lettuce and I'm gonna make Grandpa a lettuce sandwich for lunch. This is a recipe from the Great Depression. This is something people ate when lettuce was in season. If they didn't have much, they would turn it into a sandwich. The ingredients that I'm gonna use to make this sandwich is my head of lettuce, uh, two slices of bread, some mayonnaise, and some pepper. The first thing I have to do is remove some leaves from the head of lettuce. These are the leaves I'm using for the sandwich, and now what I have to do is I have to wash them really well. This is a head of magenta lettuce. Now the lettuce has been washed and cleaned, so now I'm going to cut it into ribbons for the sandwich. And all you have to do is just, you know, just cut it like this into quick little ribbons for the sandwich because it's easier to eat. Grandpa doesn't like big pieces of lettuce. Even when I make a salad for him, I have to cut them in smaller pieces. Here's my bread, I decided to toast it. Now I'm gonna put mayonnaise on both pieces of the bread. I wanna use a generous portion of mayonnaise. There's not much to this sandwich, so there's just lettuce and mayo. But if you don't like mayonnaise at all, you could always make this with butter. Or you could have mayonnaise on one slice and butter on the other slice. Whatever your preference is. You want it on both slices so the lettuce will stick to the sandwich better. Now I'm going to sprinkle a little black pepper on the mayonnaise to get it for a little more flavor. As you know, I don't use salt, so if you want salt, you could put salt also on top. I'm showing you how they made this years ago, very plain, but you could add other seasonings. All right, now I'm gonna put the lettuce on the sandwich. All you have to do is just put it on top. Now you just put the top on. That's how easy it is. Now I'm going to cut the sandwich in half. And this is how easy it is to make a nice lettuce and mayo sandwich. This is a poor person's BLT. There's no B and there's no T. How does it taste, Grandpa? I'll let you know in a minute, Ma. Well, we got two slices of bread and lettuce. And surprise what's inside. Tastes good with the mayo, but it's not like iceberg lettuce. It's a different type of lettuce. I don't know what kind it is, but it, it, it tastes good. You taste the pepper? What pepper? I don't taste no pepper. There's some black pepper on there. Well, I don't have it. How do you not have it? I put it on the sandwich. So well, maybe next time I'll have to add a lot more for you. Is it better than plain toast? Could have been toast. The bread could have been toasted a little bit more. It looks like it's lightly toasted. I'd rather eat this bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich, but don't have a tomato or bacon. It's not supposed to. It's just a lettuce and mayonnaise sandwich with a little bit of black pepper. Lettuce, yes. Mayo, yes. Bread, yes. A little bit of toasted bread, yes. But I don't taste no pepper. Well, uh, next time I'll have to give you a lot more pepper. Okay, I'm going to give you the rest of the pepper that I had and see if you could taste it now. See everybody? 
how much pepper I have on here. Let's see if Grandpa could taste it now. Now I'm picking up the pepper. So now how do you like the taste of the pepper in the sandwich? Very good. Pepper tastes good with the mayo and the lettuce and the bread. Okay, so next time, if anybody's making this and putting the pepper on, make sure you put it a little more than I first put on. And this was freshly ground pepper. This is a nice, light summer sandwich. Is it better with the lettuce cut up or you like it with the whole leaves? I like it cut up. The way, it, the way you made it. That's the way I always have my lettuce and tomato sandwiches. Lettuce is cut up. Yeah, but this is what years ago they, they made because they didn't have paprika, they didn't have bacon, and they didn't have tomatoes. And the depression, no, that's right. 